Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Suraj and in today's video we will be deep diving into data engineering, the field which helps us to clean the data, process the data and again transform them into some actionable insights. Today we will be discussing more about what data engineering is and who should pursue a career in data engineering and after that we will also be discussing a proper roadmap, how to prepare for uh, data engineer uh, roles, jobs and uh, even if you are a beginner or transitioning your career into data engineering, that uh, roadmap will, uh, will surely help you. So let's get started with that. So what is data engineering? Let's get into this with an example. Suppose you have been to a huge market of fruits and vegetables wherein uh, there are countless stalls with different varieties of fruits and vegetables. So how do you make sure that you get the uh, best out of those produce or in most efficient manner? This is what data engineers do but not with the fruits and vegetables but actually with the data. Data engineering is all about designing and building systems that make sure that data is collected, processed and uh, transferred at or made available at the right time, right destination in the most efficient manner. Think of it as an building a pipeline uh, which can uh, transfer the data from its source to its destination whenever it is required, be it real-time analytics, machine learning or for uh, business intelligence. So now you must be thinking if data engineering is a right career for me or not. So let me help you with that. If you are someone who likes complex problem solving and has keen eye on detail and loves digging out data for some patterns and has also interest in uh, working with technology then I'll certainly suggest to opt for data engineering. So now uh, let's get to my screen and we can discuss the uh, roadmap which will be helping you to prepare for data engineering roles and I have prepared the entire uh, uh, roadmap for about six months but you can customize it as per your requirement but as per as of my experience I think six months are good enough to prepare for data engineering roles so let's get to the screen and let's get it started so as you can see I have divided the entire data engineering uh, roadmap into six months in the first month you must go through fundamentals of programming and databases and again in the second month you'll have to deep dive into databases and relational databases third month will be your most important month because here you'll be learning about uh, the big data tools in the fourth month, fourth month, you'll have to go through cloud platforms because, because most of the companies today are using uh, cloud only to store the data. In fifth month, I'll suggest you to uh, make applications, make jobs so that you can showcase them or you can discuss about them in your interviews. And in the sixth month, you'll have to review and refine yourself so that you are prepared for the interviews. Now, uh, coming to the each month uh, in depth, first month I have... Uh, mentioned here to learn python and sql because the, these two are the base pillars python will be used for all your scripting and day-to-day uh, -day tasks learn basics of python variables data types operators control flow and simple data success of python such as list tuples dictionary sets because in your day-to-day -day activity you will be asked to store data and you will be in need of such, uh, such data success then again libraries such as pandas and numpy are most important in data engineering and because pandas you will be using for data manipulation you'll have to work on data on daily basis so you cannot use the data as it is from the source you'll have to transform them as per the requirement so for trans transformation you'll be needing pandas here and again if you have to do some numerical calculations or numerical transformations then in that case numpy will help you then after learning python you can go to sql or you can uh, do vice versa first learn sql then python it's all up to you sql is must in whatsoever data role you are going be it data analyst data engineer or maybe in upcoming days if you are going or targeting data, data scientists and all then sql is required everywhere so learn basics of sql uh, select a statement where clause order by filtering you must be aware of all these i mean it must be handy with you then intermediate concepts such as join group by window functions you must be aware of all these i'll suggest to make id on a hacker rank or lead code and solve as many intermediate or hard level questions as you can because in all of the interviews and even in the your day to day activities you will be needing SQL so much so uh, it all depends upon you how much practice you do so it will help you in your journey only and advanced topics such as stored procedures and triggers indexing is also important so prepare your first month accordingly learn python and SQL as much you can then move to uh, move to the second month in second month you'll have to learn about the relational databases and advanced uh, database concepts in relational databases you can learn the basics such as uh, database design normalization schema tables primary keys foreign keys and do hands on on setting up and configuring ms sql uh, uh, sorry mysql and postgres uh, sql databases because 
you'll be asked to do in your company in wherever in any company you go you'll have to set up database you'll have to work with databases so make sure you are aware of all these terms and how to do this and again deep dive into the advanced database con- concepts also like indexing for performance and query optimization because you cannot write query uh, as you did in your college days and all you have to be always uh, precise you have to write, write optimized query so that it takes less time and less resources to process the data then database management is also required required and while doing so make uh, make sure you do hands on just don't go through theoretical knowledge make sure you are also doing hands on parallelly so coming to the third month the most most important uh, month I, as i told because here you will be learning the big data tools which are solely used into data engineering the etl i mean etl stands for extraction transform and load process uh, and learn about data pipelines learn about data integration and uh, for etl process you can also use airflow one of the best or widely used uh, softwares or let's say open source uh, platform to uh, schedule your job or for the etl uh, process and data data warehousing concepts are also required because all because all of your data will be stored somewhere so you have to go through all these terms learn properly then after learning this preparing yourself for this go for spark and pyspark uh, spark pyspark is generally uh, when python written with spark is called pyspark so it's not something different but when spark is written with python then it is called pyspark so introduction to spark basic spark operations how spark job works spark architecture uh, end to end uh, how a job uh, starts how a job ends the entire job cycle must be, you must be aware of all this how a resource is allocated to a job then do hands on uh, on these terms i mean don't just learn theoretical uh, and be satisfied make as many jobs as you can because that will help you in your upcoming journey then hadoop is uh, optional i mean it's all up to you if you want then you learn but i'll suggest you to uh, go through hadoop at least once because here you will be learning about map reduce functions and what map reduce is how map reduce works that will help you a lot in your upcoming uh, data journey so make sure you do this hadoop ecosystem then hadoop file system how uh, file is stored in uh, hdfs then learn about map reduce how mapping is done how then uh, reduce is done do hands on all uh, on hadoop also after completing these three months you can move on to the fourth month wherein i'll suggest to just learn any one of the cloud it's not required to learn aws azure and google cloud all at once prepare yourself in any one i'll suggest to go for aws as you are a beginner or AWS I find a bit easier as compared to Azure and Google Cloud but it all it's all depends upon you uh, learn about S3 storage RDS for management database uh, managed databases then Redshift for data warehousing it's all up to you you can opt for Azure you can opt for Google Cloud but I found uh, AWS much easier and much helpful do hands on on setting up S3 buckets launch RDS instances and run queries in Redshift that will help you a lot now uh, coming to the fifth month here uh, as i told you'll be making projects for showcasing and all so data pipeline projects uh, will come first your objective here will be to be, uh, build a complete data pipeline integrate python with sql and cloud services so that data is extracted from a source then spark and pandas numpy all these technologies are used to transform the data as per the business requirement or maybe if you have generated or you have created your own use case then as per the use case the entire data is transformed then again that data is transformed uh, transferred to the final destination so make sure you make such projects and then etl projects are also uh, important uh, here your uh, objective will be to implement and optimize the etl process use uh, maybe i'll suggest you to use apache airflow only because it is open source and easy to use so use apache airflow or other util etl tools as per your convenience to design and execute etl workflows create a etl project focusing on data extraction transformation and loading optimize the etl process for performance as i told uh, your project must be not simple i mean uh, just using data stored somewhere you have applied simple transformations make sure you are extracting data from a source maybe it, it could have it could be in a uh, unstructured format transform that data into structured format then apply transformations and make sure your entire etl process stays up maybe it is scheduled job or maybe it is a streaming job scheduled job means your job is running uh, once or twice a day or any uh, in a periodic manner and stream jobs are something which are running 24/7 for let's suppose uh, twitter instagram they, these platforms are producing data 24/7 right so to manage them stream jobs are required so make sure you make different different projects uh, maybe some in uh, batch processing some in uh, stream projects or streamline projects so it's all up to you i have i'm just giving you suggestion don't go on uh, all my plans only it's a sample roadmap which you can follow to prepare for data engineering roles now in the 6 month 
it's not about learning it's just about uh, reviewing your entire uh, five month which you did uh, review and refine yourself your objective will be to uh, look into your faults what you did wrong or where you can improve so do that all in six month prepare resume and portfolio and make sure to mention all the data projects uh, sorry this uh, the projects mentioned uh, prepared in the fifth month i mean the data pipeline projects and etl projects in your resume and highlight them make sure you briefly explain whatever you have done in that particular project so that the uh, interviewer is aware of uh, whatever you are doing or what process you used so that also it will help you help you in uh, your interview i mean if you if you have mentioned good projects in your uh, resume or portfolio then the interviewer uh, we will be getting i uh, will be getting some good topics to discuss on you you will be also aware of those topics because say if you have not mentioned any projects then interviewer will be asking you questions as per their uh, expectations and all but in most of the cases i have seen if you are mentioning good projects then the, your entire interview can go on that uh, project only so it's all up to you mention good good projects and drive the interview as you want and uh, prepare for interviews uh, make good uh, make good connections with the seniors Uh, your college seniors your colleagues or maybe connect uh, make good network on linkedin you can ask for referrals and all so all this you can do 6 months onward and i hope this entire roadmap helps and i'll attach this uh, slide in the uh, description and i will also try to give a documentation or let's say excel sheet wherein i can give you resources from where you can learn or prepare for all the 6 month so i'll try that and uh, what to try i'll give you definitely uh, the sheet in the Uh, documentation wherein uh, you'll be getting the links to all the free resources where where you can prepare for all this for, uh, five or six month. I mean, uh, SQL, Python, Airflow, Spark, PySpark, Cloud, everything will be taught to you in free. I'll make sure to search uh, good topics or good resources for that, and I'll attach them uh, them in the description. So have them prepare well, and I hope your entire data journey uh, goes well. All the best. I hope this video adds some value to your data journey. If you found this video helpful then please hit that like and subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so that you do not miss any of my upcoming videos.